West West Show. So I've always had a passion for um, for sports, and um, uh, I'd I'd been doing a bit of coaching. Um, I did a bit of coaching while I was in Oz, and I did a bit of coaching over here. And I thought, oh, you know, this would be a good time to, um, if I was going to to look at my career path, um, do something that I that's that's I'm passionate in. So I did a, a bachelor in sports and coaching, and going into it into my first year. Um, like my whole focus was that I'd become a, a professional coach, and I remember <clears throat> my first two um, lectures was one was on psychology, and the other one was on, on anatomy. And I was thinking, I'm here for a coaching degree. When when do I go to the field? <clears throat> but um, ended up doing my 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 three year degree, and um, and I think the big thing that uh, I realised during that is that you go in that one door, but then you come out. And you've got multiple doors in front of you. So, I never expected to come out with a, a coaching um, degree, or um, and then I ended up doing a, a post grad in teaching, and then I ended up getting a job at Sport Sport by Takadi. So, um, it, it, it led me down a different path, but it's a path where um, where I think I've fa- fallen into something where I'm actually. It's part of my DNA, and it's probably part of your DNA as well. You know, service to our community is always part of our Pacifica community, um, our DNA, and, and the role that I'm doing is very much our service to the community. So, working for Sport Waitakane, I've heard of them for a long time. Uh, how long have they been around? Um, so, I think we've, um, I think we celebrated our thirtieth year last okay, year, yeah. um, and I've been working for them for the last nine years. Um, and when I got the, my my job with them, I had no idea what they did. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I had no idea, but um, <clears throat> um, yeah, there was a c- couple of diff- good definitions I got from different people. Like you know, oh, Sport Waitaki, they must take care of all the pro athletes in, in West Auckland. Um, or or they run major sporting events. It's like, and then when I got to uh, to uh, actually um, join the team, it's like they don't do any of that. <laughs> it's like, what do they do? It was like, well, they serve the community, but they serve the community in the way that um, that. Uh, and this is me talking my my sport wide targeted talk is like um, they serve the community by responding to the community's needs. You know, not not um, not coming in with um, with this is how you do it, and we want you to do the same thing. It's like actually, we'd want to know what you do, and then we can help you better. Kind of approach through sport. Yep, sport, um, active recreation is a, a big thing now. Um, something that uh, is quite um, um, a new area for me to kind of think about. Because I've always thought of it as a, as a natural thing, is play plays a part of it as well. And um, like I was telling you um, before we started, um, sitting um, in Samoa outside, outside the valley and just watching two little kids play, not with a whole toy car, but just the wheel of a car, and they spent an hour um, just playing between themselves as this wheel. Is like that's their version of play. I've seen many different versions of play. Whether it be it be in a cultural sense or you know a a, a, a formal structured sense like you know with rugby and stuff, but um, yeah, it's it's quite unique when you when you take away your perceptions of it and you leave yourself open to to seeing it in its raw form. So so when you say we're not going to tell you what to do, we're going to let the people tell us yeah. where to go. Yeah. So say. Say when like that's a that's a analogy with that kid with the with the wheel. So okay, you guys like playing with wheels. Yeah. We'll we'll help you play more with wheels. <laughs> well, <laughs> how's it work like like through sport? Like I'm trying to think because when I think because I'm not really like narrow minded like sport. I think of just rugby, basketball, mm. soccer. Yeah. But I'm not including like cycling, outdoor yeah. activities, play. Yeah. Like playing in the playground. Yeah. That sort of thing. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Like what kids do in their spare time. Bar playing PlayStation all day, outside playing hit and roll. I don't think they play hit and roll anymore. Yeah, kids. Oh, they do. They do. Do they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I think the 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 thing that like you know um, when you think about what we do is um, 
So, for example, there's so many different levels of what we do, and there's also it, it's um it like it's like a spider web. So, um, our team will be working on their own thing, but at the same time, it's connected to someone else's work or or multiple people's work across the across our group. So, it, when that one person's working on that, they're actually helping. Um, other people with their, their their work at the same time. So how does the <coughs> engagement start? In the beginning? How does it start for each of you and your team, like in, to engage in the public? How does that start? A lot of it comes down to um, to so w- schools are a controlled environment. So you know that, like you know, because I I work in the school area, like I always know that um, my first point of contact is going to be a principal. Where um, uh, in the community, it it could be. Um, someone that is not necessarily the chair or the president of a club, but um, the coach in the club, and which gives you access to the the rest of the that 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 um, that sub community within the club. Um, so I tell your parents and <coughs> yep. all the kids and yep. people. Yep. Yeah. And then like <coughs> like if you if you're thinking about like you know like juniors and and. So who are the, the main influences of those junior groups? Is it the club, the coach, or the parents? You know, and then so <clears throat> when you kind of realise that, it's like um, the, the child themselves is restricted on the choices that are given to them by the influences on that child, that's where you want to try and make, um, make change, like, you know, make changes to, to support um, <clears throat> so I always look at it as like you know, if you have um, um, there's been ma- massive campaigns around behaviour on the sideline, <clears throat> and so it's not the kids that we need to change, it's the it's how we support our our um, our kids as, as spectators as, co- as coaches um, to be able to play their game and like you know, no one goes there to shout at someone else's kid. If, when you go down to the field, you're going down there to support your kid. It's just in, in the way that you support your kid, maybe not necessarily the way other people would like you to support your kid. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm sure you've done it, and uh, as many many other parents have, like you know, or all grandparents have turned up to watch a game and go, "Hey, I'll give you a dollar for every try you score." Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the intention is is that you're going to do it's something good for the kid to reward the kid, but what you've done is you you've um, actually changed the dynamic of the kid playing. Now he's greedy. Yeah. <laughs> now he's holding on to the ball because yeah. he wants to score more tries to get yeah. more dollars. And then how many other kids have been told the same message? Who turn up on on game day is like actually, you know, I could come out of this and I and I've got money in my pocket for every kid. So they, they they lose the dynamic of actually playing the game because that we've changed the goal for them rather than just being there to have fun. We've told them to to go score a try to 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 get a dollar. So this little situation <coughs> you've like identified, then that's when you come in and help yep. that situation. Yep, lots of in, lots of information. Um, it's not something where um, like we can make um, uh, recommendations. Um, to help support change, and that could be just like you know um, having a conversation with a group of adults out, outside that 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 space. Um, it could be an information that we share through a video. Um, it could be information that we share through um, by talking to the the club chair and the the development coaches for for all the juniors. So it's a philosophy that needs to, that is embedded by making little changes that make out big changes.